the one that I'd, I'd kept saying, get that earring out, cut that, that rat's tail off, and he, whatever you tell him, he does the opposite. You know, but uh, the, the, probably the great story is about, yeah, he's, he's married to my daughter now, but I didn't know anything about their relationship for six months. I think everyone else on the Central Coast knew except for me. And uh, when I found out about it, I made his life tougher. I was just about to take over the Mariners, so I was up on the Gold Coast. We had a soccer camp up with Pim, and I went to watch the AIS. Saw this skinny kid with a rat's tail, and he had the he had the technique and he had the athleticism and, and speed and that. But he was he was skinny. He needed to be, you know, um, he physically had to get stronger. Yeah, I liked what I saw. I took a, a risk on him, and um, I signed him for three years. And the first year he didn't play much because I had Alex Wilkinson and that. But the first year it was more about learning. I remember when uh, we played one game in the first year, I put him at right back because he was cocky and uh, I put him at right back to play against Thomas Broish. So Broish ripped him apart and um, made him stay out there for 90 minutes and learn a lot of lessons. He needed to be taught in a certain way and that was about being on the pitch against the best players. He's got a very laid back attitude that unless you know him, it, it comes across as a who cares attitude. He went uh, one camp away with Holger Osiek, the AFC Championships, and uh, he came back and the report I got back from Holger was he'll never make it because he doesn't care. And I spoke to Holger about it, and I said, well, look, I have worked with him for three years, I do know his attitude is, come, it does come across like that, but he does care, and just got to be harder on him. I was always hard on him because of expectations. You know, when you have that gift that he has, and that's speed, technically very good, and it's about getting that out of him. When you have the, the confidence that he has in himself, sometimes it can get lackadaisical and look complacent. I still believe that uh, <clears throat> he's nowhere near, he's, he's not playing at the level he should be playing at, but uh, I think his next move has to be a big move for his career. You know, what, what amazes you is that he doesn't hardly, like last year, he didn't play much club football, but then he goes out and performs like he does at the Confederations Cup, and like he did in the World Cup qualifier, he's one of our best. And it's, it's, it's a mentality, a, a little bit in a way like, when I want to do it, I do it. And that needs to happen every week. Um, and if he does that every week, and, and plays to that level every week, as I said, he can play at any level in the world. If he plays at his soccer level every game for a club team, then, then he'll be at a great, a very, very good club. He needs to be challenged every week and every game. You know, the, I always believe that uh, the better the opposition is, the better Trent plays. You know, when the challenges are there, and I think you'll see that in this World Cup, when the challenges are there, you'll see him go to a, an even, bigger, a high, even higher level than what he's at.